My name is Eric Murangwa Eugene and I'm a survivor of 1994 genocide against the Tutsi in Rwanda. I'm sharing this message in support of a genocide amendment campaign. Once upon time, my country was described as too small, too black, and too poor to raise pity from anyone. And this view was at the center of why the international community turned away and allowed the genocide to happen in my country. Today, I see similar situation happening in China, where people are looking at China as too big, too rich, and too powerful to do anything against them, to try and use their position of influence to stop China treating its own people as it has been doing against the Uyghurs people. Trade is not worth the price of people. It has been the long-standing policy of labor and conservative government that genocide determination is a judicial, not political decision. If this can't happen internationally, we must ensure this happens domestically. This is a simple choice. Either we recognize genocide or we turn a blind eye, as we did 27 years ago in my country, Rwanda. Either genocide has the consequences or it doesn't. But let me tell you, as a survivor of genocide, it has a huge consequences. It impacts everything that a community that has experienced genocide stands for. It destroys beliefs. It destroys culture. It destroys relationship. It destroys people's lives forever. Either we carry on business as usual or we change. It can't be any other way. Never again will not be achieved with the same again. Remember when the Holocaust ended some 75 plus years ago, the world came together and said never again. Guess what? We have failed over and over and over again because genocide have taken place in Cambodia in 75, in my own country in 94, in Bosnia in 95, in Darfur in 2002, and it is happening right now in China against the Uyghurs people. It has happening to the Rohingya people in Myanmar for the last few years. What does never again really mean? And this is a question I want to put to the member of parliament who are looking or thinking to vote against the genocide amendment bill. Listen to the voice of survivors who have gone through a horrible experience of genocide. Trust me, if you can understand how bad and how hard it is to go through such experience, you will not vote against this bill. You will vote in support of it. And I hope you will. Thank you.